The Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour on ESPN is brought to you by Etonic, the official footwear of the PBA. By Denny's, where America's favorite breakfast is now available to go. Real breakfast 24-7. By Geico. 15 minutes could save 15% on your car insurance. Visit Geico.com. And by Lumber Liquidators. Hardwood flooring for less. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson back with you here in Vernon Hills, Illinois for the third of seven PBA Women's Series events this year. The Women's Series, which debuted last season, is sponsored by the United States Bowling Congress, and it has been dominated this year by Michelle Feldman, who has a 41-pin lead right now on Missy Bellender. a strike there from Missy. She needed that to get her confidence going. Her confidence has really picked up this week. Her first two events this season, 11th and a 12th place finish. Today looks to be a second. You can see the upcoming events, and we will be with the women. The next two stops, the Cheetah Championships outside of Buffalo, and then the 14th in Baltimore, the Lumber Liquidators Sharp Championship. And all those events presented by the USBC. And Rob, the winners all go to a season-ending event, which actually qualifies Missy because Michelle Feldman has already won her weight into that event. And if you win twice, then the runner-up would get the invite. Stephanie Nation of Arlington, Texas, won the first event on the ladies' leg of this tour. Right you are, my friend. If you uh, need more... Missy Bellander in your life, just go to PBA.com. I'll tell you about that in a second. Picks up the spare. Missy writing a weekly blog called Missy's Memo on the league's website. Gives you a little perspective from an insider's view. She's also doing some work in the public relations department for the PBA, helping us out here on this side of things when she's not bowling. You look, you look like you were going to say something to me, Rob. Go I ahead. Had a, I had a thought. I was going to ask you a question. Then Go ahead. I decided, you know what? I think America wants to hear more of me and less of you. And then I realized I was wrong, and I want to hear more of Randy Peterson. Yeah. Well, you talked to Michelle Feldman about the difference between this season and last season, and she says it's all about oil patterns. When the PBA went a foot longer with all the name patterns and changed the ratio in the front part of the lane from 3 to 1 to 2 to 1, all of a sudden the hook ball became into play. Better, better. And she said, and that's why. Last year you could go, you had to go straight, and she's not a straight player. She wants to get in there and hook it with the men, and that's her A game. And, and she said, man, this year the hook ball is in play, and she feels like on a week-to-week -week basis out here during the women's series, she said everybody else is bowling for one spot because the other one's going to her. I love that attitude. So she's just tearing it up right now. You, you could essentially give her the women's bowling equivalent of the triple crown right now. She leads the women's series in average, in cash, and points ranking. She says when we get into match play, the majority of the women play the same spot on the lane. She moves to the inside part of the lane, and, it, and she has that entire area to herself. Must be a good feeling. Man, it's like stealing. Missy's ready for this one to be over and move on to Cheek Dewago, which is where we will be next Sunday, just outside of Buffalo. Yeah, and let me tell you what a great feeling it is to be on television and to miss your target a little bit to the inside and split, and then miss it a little bit to the outside and go 2 8 10. What a great feeling. Yeah. You want to punch in the head with that as well? Yeah, you just want to you just want the game to end and you want to get off the set. And that would add to it. 2003 Collegiate MVP and Bowler of the Year. She has won on just about every single level and every place she has rolled. She's a wonderful person. Just a few weeks shy of her 27th birthday. 
Can you remember what that was like, Randy? Shut up, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. The holidays got you down just, already? Just a few years ago, buddy. You know what? Actually, my parents today were asking me, how old is Randy Peterson? You told him I was probably I in my late 30s. I lowballed. I lowballed. I did a good job. It's amazing what Botox can do for a man. You wear it well, my friend. Thank you. Michelle Feldman. A little heavy on that one. One of the reasons I like Michelle, her favorite food is Chinese. There's not enough people in the world who enjoy that Chinese food. She'll get that P.F. Chang's the night before a title game. Grandparents, huge advocates of her in this sport, always there to support her. And if you look at her scores on television, not terribly overpowering. She's got one 200 game and a 199 against Jody Wessner in Taylor, Michigan, just a couple weeks ago. And right now, if she strikes out, she'll shoot 212. But you know, the difference is uh, when your opponent's shooting 140, it's... Uh, you can throttle back a little can, bit. Yeah, it's not so much a match. Well, talk about she can max at 212 in this one, which she won't do, but that's about her average. You know, she, again, we said she leads the women's series in average with a 213.29. Became the first woman to fire a 300 game on national television when she defeated Carolyn Doran Ballard. And, Carolyn had a good week this week, but it's been a shaky season so far for her. This week, in this tournament, Michelle Feldman averaged 237. So, I mean, she was uh, she was right up there with the men in terms of throwing a lot of strikes. Well, she they threw say, a lot of strikes this week. And they say the Scorpion um, oil pattern, the scoring pace was designed to be medium to low. You know, so much for that. Last season, the pattern scored the highest for the PBA exempt pros, an average of nearly 226. And Michelle with the victory, and you know, she, she's, tearing, she's tearing it up on any oil pattern. Doesn't really matter. So Michelle Feldman, her second title this season alone. So Michelle Feldman and Wes Malott, your winners today in Vernon Hills at the CLR Carmen Salvino Scorpion Championship. Bellander rolling out here in the 10th. Bellander picks up the spare. One more shot before the hardware goes to that young lady for the second time this season, Michelle Feldman. Finished, finished sixth in the 08 PBA Women's Tour titles. Good finish from Missy. And it's always nice to see her leave with a smile. But the story, Michelle Feldman, another dominating performance, her second Women's no Series title right this now. season. I have no words for this right now. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable feeling. Three title matches this season, two championships for the native of Auburn, New York. And the story before Michelle Feldman, Wes Malott winning his fourth career tour title. Next week, Randy and I and the gang pack up the truck, drive it on over to Buffalo. Chicken wings, baby! That's right. Let's load up the Cheetah Championships next Sunday. Live coverage right here on ESPN at 1 p.m. Eastern. Congratulations again to Michelle Feldman and to Wes Malott, your two winners today, and Ken Samard. Thanks to him for almost giving us a 300 game just before the men's title match. What a wonderful show that was. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. For Randy Peterson and our entire crew on Rob Stone, college football final, powered by Cognac, is next.